Um, and um, let me just do a little bit of foreshadowing. All of this uh, geometry talk, it's uh, leading to introduction to a concept that we call four vector. So you know what a vector is, right? Three-dimensional vector, it's like an arrow pointing in space. Four vector is like that, except you include the time dimension. That's the space time. So a four vector is the formalism we use to illustrate um, like a, a space time coordinate. And um, this quantity that you calculate, this ends up being called something called uh, invariant interval. Invariant because for the reasons we talked about, interval like a duration of time or interval like a length, um, which can all mixed up. <laughs> and um, so there, so the, the space time coordinates that we've been working with, that's one example of four vector. So when you turn this into a vector, this is a four vector. And we call it four vector because it transforms under boost like under Lorentz transformation. And I will give you an example of one more four vector that's going to be formed out of energy and momentum. And um, in the foreshadowing that I want to complete is that the velocity, so you know, you are used to seeing velocity V as a vector, right? This is a vector or what we call three vector. There's no four vector version of velocity, or I mean, you can define one, but it's uh, intuitively very different from velocity, different enough that people hardly ever use it. So you will have noticed that your textbook covers velocity transformation way earlier than I have so far. Like I haven't talked about relativistic velocity transformation at all, uh, right? Uh, I haven't gotten to that yet. Uh, your textbook does it you know, before, it does momentum and energy. And the reason I was uh, staying away from relativistic velocity transformation is, well, when you look at it, you will see that the transformation law you get is not as simple as Lorentz transformation. This is the velocity transformation rule, and it looks nothing like Lorentz transformation. And the reason for that is velocity is not a four vector. It's a, so it's, a, uh, it's a, you know, it's not a four vector. So you know, when you work with uh, things in special relativity, you kind of stay away from velocity and instead you to use energy and momentum, which I'll do next Tuesday.